Okay, I have KR Pano Tools open. I'll go to the top menu and click on Convert Tool. And open the folder with my stitched pano. And then just drag that onto the window. And KR Pano will extract six cube faces. Each file name has a different letter. Those letters refer to back, front, left, right, up, down. So U will be the zenith, D will be the nadir shot. In this case, I want to patch the nadir hole, so I'll open the D file in Photoshop. Zoom in. I use the patch tool. Draw around the nadir hole. And then just drag that to the side to sample. Let go. Looks good. Save. Close the window. And now just drag the six cube faces back onto the window. And then KR Pano will stitch the six cube faces back into a spherical panorama with sphere in the file name. Looks good. Okay, I have Pano2VR open and I've created a new file and saved it. Next, I'll drag my stitched panorama to the bottom in the tour browser. And then in the upper right, click on the green plus for a new output and select Transformation. Open the Transformation panel and where it says Type, I'll select Cube Faces. Down here, you can select any kind of file format. I'll select TIFF. And then back up here, click on the gear icon, which will output six cube faces from your stitched panorama. You're there in the output folder. And if you're looking for the nadir shot, that will be the last one. So we'll open that up in Photoshop. Zoom in. Select the patch tool, draw around your nadir hole, and then just drag over to sample, let go. Looks good. I'll save and close that. Now I'll select all of the cube faces and drop them into the tour browser. And then I'll right click on the original panorama, remove that. And then in transformation panel, we'll switch from cube faces to equi rectangular. You can see a preview of the image, so that looks like what we want. And click on output. And now the cube faces are restitched into a spherical panorama. Okay, I have PT GUI open. I'll go to the top menu, select Tools, Convert to Cube Faces, open the folder with my stitched panorama, drop that into the window. If you want to batch convert, you can drop multiple files in. Make sure projection is set to equi rectangular and convert to cube faces and select your file type and where you want to save the images. Click on convert. And PT GUI will extract six cube faces. 
I'm going to patch the nader, so that will of course be the one that says bottom. Open that in Photoshop. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to use the patch tool. Draw around my nader hole. And then just drag to sample. Looks good. I'll save. Close the window. Now select the six cube faces and I'll open in a new PT GUI project. Hit create panorama and create panorama again. PT GUI should recognize those as cube faces and will stitch them into a spherical panorama without having to do anything else. The new stitched panel will have the word reconstructed in the file name. And there it is. Looks good.